Hey guys, Mark here. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to make a paracord pineapple. I find the idea of using a pineapple knot in order to make a paracord pineapple quite entertaining and I must admit that I am a bit jealous of my viewers which live in areas such as Hawaii and other places where these duties grow. They taste delicious but I would not recommend chewing on the one we're going to make. So for this project you're going to need three colors of cords, the yellow, a sort of a brownish color and then also a green one for the leaves. You're also going to need a mandrel and a lacing needle. So with those supplies ready, we can begin making a base knot, which will be a 4 byte Turk's hat, which we're then going to interweave with the pineapple knot. So enough of me talking, let's get into it. So to start I have prepared my mandrel, as well as my cord, and we're going to do two wraparounds around the mandrel. Then we're going to come back and go over the two cords. Then around. And over again. So over the first cord. And then over the second on the right side. We're then going to turn back into the knot and with our end we're going to go under over, under over all the way to the left side. And with this we have tied a 2 byte Turk's head. We're now going to expand it into a 4 byte. We start expanding by following the standing end all the way to the right side. We then turn back into the knot, going opposite to the cord on the right. So over under, then over two, under and over. Finally, we're going to split the pairs that we just made. And we're going to start with an over, then go under, then over two. Basically, we're going the opposite to the chords to our left and right, then under and over. We're then going to split the next set of two chords, so this pair, by going the opposite of what these two chords are doing. So we're going to start with an under, then go over, under, over under, over under and finally over the last chord and we place our working end next to the standing end in order to finish the knot. So with this we have prepared a base knot of 4 bytes which we're going to interweave in the next section. So I have attached a second color on the left side of my standing end and we're going to tie a type 1 pineapple by going under 2, then continuing to the right side, going over under, over under, and over under. We always start the sequence with an under and finish it as well. We're now going to start the sequence again with an under. Then 
then go over, under, then over two in order to split a pair, and under, then over and under. As mentioned, we always start and finish our sequence with an under. We're going to start the next sequence with an under again. So under one. Then over, under. Then over two in order to split a pair. And under one. and then over and under. We're going to start our next sequence with an under two in order to split a pair. Then go over, under, Then over two, under two, and over under. We start with an under two again, splitting a pair. Then going over, under, over two, under two, then over under. We start our next sequence with an under two in order to split a pair. Then go over two under one, then over two, under two, over two and under one. We start our sequence again with an under two to split a pair. Then over two, under one, then over two, under two, then over two and under one.
So we have now come to the final sequence, which is going to be an under 2. Then over 2 and under 2. Then over to under two. And finally over two under one. Now at this point you can work in your end next to the standing end but you do not exit the knot so basically we're going to go under two in order to work our working end next to the standing end and this completes our pineapple knot so here you can see the final result and we're now going to continue we start our next part of the tutorial by making the leaves. So make a loop and then make a bunch of smaller loops which we're going to feed into the knot in order to make a core as well as to make the top leaves. So we're going to cut each of these loops that we made and we're going to make leaves out of them. But for now we're going to insert this core into our pineapple knot. So we take our core and feed it into the knot. So like this. Naturally at the top the leaves are going to come out because we want them showing. And now tighten your knot around it. You can see me tightening here and a little trick that I do is to squeeze on the top and bottom part of the pineapple knot to make it more barrel shaped. This will make it look much more like a pineapple and we continue by pulling out the slack out of the knot. So once you have tightened up your pineapple knot around your core, it is time to do the leaves. We're going to leave one loop for a keychain and we're going to cut the rest. And then remove the inner strands out of the leaves in order to make them flatter. So just take the top part of the inner strands and cut them. Now at this point you can melt the ends and you will have your leaves. What I would recommend though is that you cut your leaves at an angle to make them look a bit more authentic. And do this with all of your leaves. So at this point we finished our paracord pineapple and I would like to thank you for joining me in this tutorial. Thank you and see you next time.